How do you and welcome back to George Blazing here and today I'm going to do my Fallen Collection I'm going to do a Fallen Collection every single year in August so this will be of August 2017 and this will be part 1, part 1 will be of my fixed blades if you notice from the last video my storage has changed when I was on holiday I bought myself this aluminium case so let's get right so let's get started so I'm going to use the top bit of my case to display all in nice, hopefully it will fit, maybe, I don't know. Here we have the Spyderco Tenacious, this is one of Spyderco's flagship knives. Liner lock, this is a 8CR13 MOV steel, and it's the spidey edge, the commie edge, sorry, because it's got viscerations here, and the flat edge. You have a black G10 handle scales, and 4 wide pocket clip, I like to keep it tip up in the pocket. And you've got an additional spidey hole which you can use to flick out the knife. Right. Next here we have the K bar Komodo. This is, as I said, from K bar. We have a lamb's foot blade, sheet foot blade. We have a black G10 with a cross uh, stainless steel top bit finish. Liner lock again. And this is only a one way pocket clip carry. You have two thumbs to my life. And it's a very thick, heavy, heavy duty knife. Which, for the price of twenty pounds, or I think twenty five pounds, maybe a bit more now, it's a very good buy. And the blade has a coat, a black coat on it. If you're wanting a knife just to beat around the bush and do stuff like that, a workers knife, I recommend that. Another knife I recommend for EDC or for just doing daily tasks or to basically bugger it up is the Lake One Eleven by CRKT. You've got a FRN handle with the IBS lock, and you have a drop point blade. Thinner than the Komodo, but you also have two foam studs, which again are smaller than the Komodo. It's a lightweight knife, and it has one tip down carry only, and the tip the no, the clip is only on the right hand side. This is a back lock knife, so a traditional type of knife. And I've done a review of all three of these knives to so check them out. Next, let's go the Caroma Tacticals. Well, I'm including my CRKT uh, Forks Mirror list here because it's in the case. You don't even know it's a fixed blade, so here it is. This is the Tanto version. With a my card to handle it because of a reinforced plastic sheath. So, going into my traditionals. Here we have the Muela uh, de Cafador and Davia. Very nice. Classic Spanish knife, olive wood handle, black my carta. This knife introduces some classic materials with some modern ones too because of the uh, micarta. Clip point blade, this is uh, over steel made in Spain and this is a back lock. But look at that nice gym pick on there. The lock and this one is solid and it's not going anywhere. Really like that knife. Right. A new Moella I have recently purchased is this. This is the Moella GL. So we have wood. Kingswood handle scales with brass and German pinnings, brass pinnings, and clip point blade. We've got a nice curvature of the handle, and it's also, if you see here, maybe I can zoom in, it's got a B on it. Now, people might think this is traditional for the Legules knife from France, and it is, but this is a classic Spanish knife. I have, I've got this in a place called Ciudad Rodrigo, and the guy I know is an expert, and I trust him. He also gives me very good deals, which I'll talk about in a review I do about knife. Sticking on traditional Spanish, I have my Muela GT here. Back lock, olive wood handle scales, drop point blade, very nice knife. Put that there. Here we have the Kuderman 41L, I think it is. Olive wood handle, back lock. Kick point blade, 440C steel, all these and Mova steels by the way. Very nice, small knife. Very pointy, very comfortable in the hand due to that curvature. Next we have, oh, well, here we are. This is um, Martinez Albinox Navaja de Lujo, a traditional Spanish Navaja. Bullhorn handle. Very nice finishing, silver finishing, nice clip point blade. Interesting lot this. I don't know what the name of it is, but it's traditional in Spain. But you see this toggle here, a bit of metal, 
you push that up and the blade collapses. Very nice knife, very small, very nice. Next we're going into Portugal, here is the Filman Iberico Grande. We have a beach wood handle, clip point blade, line along, but not going to the left, going to the right as a safety feature. Budget friendly blade, very nice indeed. Next we have the Duros Grande by Filman. Same size as Iberico, but just a different handle shape. Same blade style, very nice. I prefer the shape and handle shape of the Duros than to the Iberico. And that's Beachwood as well. And I think the steel is stainless steel, it doesn't really advertise that. Next, my last film man, this is Jopario. This is a small worker's knife. The grafter's knife, I call it. You've got a spear point blade, lock, again, the beachwood handle, stainless steel knife. It's alright for daily tasks. would rather use my CRKT than that. But anyway, it's a nice knife to have. Right, let's go into my eye cells, another Portuguese knife. So, this is the eye cell Big Daddy. I call it the Big Daddy because it's massive. Um, it's not, this is the cover, just the Cavante, the farmer's knife. Cavante's knife in Portuguese. And I looked on the website and this is advertised as a farmer's knife. So here's a Cavante farmer's knife. Uh, let's put that there. Now they do different, that's the biggest size they do of that one. And here is the second biggest size. So just the same knife as that one, but just downscaled. Next I have a, a traditional Portuguese knife. This is a other I sell. We've got a brass and a rosewood handle with a stiletto blade. This is slip joint. These are slip joints. All the blade steel is a stainless. They are very sharp when they come out. And this is a new knife as well. Very thin, very agile. Unfortunately, this joint, the slip joint of it is very, very smooth compared to, say, one of these. So, yeah, it's a, it's a nice knife for what you pay for it. And my last I sell. This is... Called, this is a, a version of the farmer's knife. Uh, this is Cavante. It's advertised as a farmer's knife, but it's strange. It's a clip point blade with a curved handle. Sort of reminds me of a Laguiole in some ways. Very strong slip joint there. Very nice knife. Very small knife. EDC legal in the UK, that one. Now, this is to my Victorinoxes. I have the Hunter here in OD green. This is a locking knife. This mechanism here, you pull that down, the blade collapses, and you've got really some of the hunting utensils. That's a saw there for the horns, boss opener that with a screwdriver built into it. You've got your saw here, boss opener, sorry, corkscrew, and all. Three knife, knife, three knife construction, well, three rail construction. My first locking, which is on my knife, this is the Nomad. This is basically a recruit or a Spartan just beefed up into a locking knife. All the power coil I put on this either myself. So you basically got a big blade, corkscrew which locks, and a boss opener that locks, can opener, that's it there, and you just got an all and a boss opener. I mean a corkscrew. Very nice knife. Always nice uh, a stainless steel or some sort and you've got plastic handles. Here we have the Trailmaster. Basically, the Swiss, the new soldier knife, but just a different handle scale and just call it something differently. I've got a joined combi edge here. Very nice knife. Basically, got the same things as that and that combined. Put that there. Next, my first Swiss Army knife. This is the uh, Recruit. Very small. You just got main blade, little blade, court screw, boss opener, and that's really it. Here we have the climber, which is basically the trail master with an extra blade, small blade, and that's basically what it is. Red plastic handle, and just got camping on it. And here's the Swiss card. You got your knife, your scissors, everything. Basically, it's just a Swiss Army knife in a card. As you can see, you got your pen, tweezers, scissors, toothpick, file, and you've got a pin in there with your blade here. Next, this is a traditional English knife. This is called a jack knife. First knife I ever got. Burnwood handle, lambswood blade, a rope spike, 
made in Sheffield, which is an excellent knife. It's one of my favourites. Uh, I was given this to my granddad, and it's a really nice traditional English knife to have. My only English knife, I think. Next, my open now, number eight. I've got two of these, one of them has gone missing somewhere. Liner lock, beechwood handle, clip point blade, carbon steel, which is shite in this respect because it just rusts up. Carb, uh, open our knives are basically rust buckets, so love the rust, so we'll keep care of them, but they are very sharp. As I've cut myself many times on this knife, so it could be my blood relative. Don't know, should get it dusted. Anyway, so yeah, that's number eight. The flagship of a French knife of open out. And here is the open out CN mounting number eight. So you got your shackle key for your carabiners and stuff, blade, you got your serrations here, you've got a plastic handle, you can get different colours, I've got the orange one, you can get a blue, green, grey, and orange. You got a whistle built into here, I don't know the decibels, and you have a lanyard here as well. And oh, so I do have one of a knife, but it's very small. Is this into a knife? So it's like an English knife, just more box opener. So thank you guys for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Stay, so part two will be coming up soon, so stay watching to the next video. I've been your host, Yorkshire Placement, and I shall see you next time. Goodbye.